Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the Alpha Pack Shop. We now have my personal truck in here, the Chevy Avalanche, 2006 Chevy Avalanche Z71. This is my daily driver. Uh, it's in the shop due to some issues. And I was going to go over what we're about to do to it uh, with y'all real quick. And then after it's all done, we will come back and we will check everything out uh, on and I'll go over like how everything went with the install and all and also after that's all done I'll go over with you what all I've done to this truck which is a lot a lot a lot big list of stuff but just to keep it short and sweet so the truck I just did the brakes last month or two ago and noticed that my CV axle boot was uh, about to rip. It had a slice or just where the creases were. It seems every two years for some reason, these Duralast, uh, here's the part number, Duralast CVs, the boots on the inner cup always go out for some reason. I don't know if it's just bad, you know, the material of the boot or what, or it could be from the ex, you know extended length of it as far as it might be stretching out too too far just putting excessive wear on the rubber and so to kind of counter that or to maybe see we'll see so it come i have a fabtech six inch uh suspension lift fox shocks whatnot heavy duty moog uh uppers which are fairly new and move lower ball joints uh but anywho so that's all upgraded the brakes are beefier gmt 900 series on my 800 series truck front brakes dual caliper 13 inch rotor i believe it's an inch bigger than the stock one it was a 12 inch rotor but anywho so i think it was just i think they're just too long <laughs> so to add to to help with that I had these from my Tahoe I had got four of these they're a quarter inch each I believe so I'm gonna stick one of these in I think well, I'll try it and see how it look you know how it works uh, in between it to give it a little bit extra uh, so the so it's not pulling so hard I mean it's not like yank you know yanking the the joint out of the inner boot or inner joint but it is definitely at full droop uh pulling on it pretty well so here's the stuff we're going to be putting in so here's the cvs those are lifetime warranty from autozone and this will be like the third set i've put in here this truck's got 223,000 miles on it and stock i mean it's got motor same motor tranny rear end that was in it from the factory um so we're gonna do that while i'm in here in a previous video i had purchased the kryptonite heavy duty tie rods and the pitman and idler arm support brackets so while i'm doing this and have everything out of the way i'm going to go ahead and install this which is going to cause me to have to get an alignment but it is what it is it's got to go in at some point so might as well do it now and also the the Fabtech uh, sway bar links, which are here. I've never even been able to take them off because they are rusted together. And it's an Allen bolt on top that just screws down and up. Where is it? There it is. See it? But they are so rusted, you cannot get them off and you strip them or we stripped them and we're gonna have to just cut them off so i'm gonna cut those out and i have this set which is the skyjacker set so these will work pretty nicely i think it'll be a lot better and the design is definitely nicer if i wouldn't have bought these before i bought the kryptonite set, uh tie rods i would have opted for the kryptonite uh, sway bar links also but I did not know I was going to be getting that at the time of that I ordered those so 
no big deal. We'll work with what we got. So the 35s are putting a little bit of wear on it, which it's had 35s on it forever. But anywho, so we're going to, I'm going to get into doing this and I wanted to keep this one kind of short and sweet. Just give you a little overview of what is going on it and what I'm going to do. So, and then after that's all installed, I will then make a video on and go over how it went, how the install went and whatnot. And, you know, we'll, we'll go over everything then. So, and also we'll do something about uh, what's all done to the truck itself. I, there's a list of stuff, like I said. But like I said, just to make it short and sweet, we're just going to tell you about it, what we're going to do. And I'm about to get into her now. And so if you would, hit that like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you get notified when I post new videos. And I will check y'all in the next one when she's put back together. Y'all take it easy till the next one.